Hey guys, Scott here, and today I wanted to show you what I believe to be the most like consistently effective pyromancy build for dueling. Um, this is a build that actually uses no weapons, it's only spells, and um, if you guys don't know, you know, my play style, I tend to try to use things that are only consistent, things that are just always, always consistent, they don't rely, like, you know, on the opponent making a really big mistake or something like that. There's something I can bring to every single fight and still do damage no matter what. Um, this is why I don't use spells like Sacred Flame. Um, this is why I don't try to free aim cast fireballs. This is why I don't parry on average because none of those things are consistent and more often than not, they're not going to work. So this is a basically a pyromancy build from a meta guy refined to be as effective as humanly possible and it is really really effective it works really well um at the end of this video i'll give you a link to a uh, a couple of streams i did where i was using this build and i would go hours and hours and hours without losing and this was with very little practice with the build too so in the hands of someone who's actually really good with pyromancy i can't imagine how good you can actually do it so um without further ado this is what i believe to be the most effective dueling pyromancy build First, let's look at the actual stats of the build. I created a Mugen Monkey so you can actually go and see and modify things exactly how you want. Uh, that'll be in an annotation right here. So you can go ahead and click that and see all the stats. Um, but I have a little video of it going on right now showing the stats. Um, this, the, the stats in this video are not perfect. The ones in the Mugen are actually probably a lot better. But I have uh, 39 Vigor, 30 Attunement, 32 Endurance, 15 Strength, 40 Int, and 40 Faith. Um, the Vigor is obviously so you don't die in one hit. You notice a lot of casters are very squishy. You don't need to be. Just give yourself some vigor. Uh, the 30 attunement is something that if you want to be so level 120 for whatever reason, if you're doing a tournament or something, you can uh, lower that to 24 and take off Toxic Mist. That's not that big of a loss. Um, and if you wanted to be 120 as well, you would take uh, 6 points off of attunement, 2 points off of endurance, and then you take 3 points off of vigor and you'd be totally good to go. Um, and then the 40 int and faith are for doing obviously the uh, the amount of damage that you need to be doing because those are the soft caps for pyromancy 40 and 40. The 15 strength is so you can use the pyromancer's parting flame which plays an integral role in the actual build and if you don't know the special property of that I'll show you in a second. So this build uses pretty much three spells the entire time. They are fire surge, black serpent, and black flame. Now I've always said Fire Surge is really good, Black Serpent was always good, but I recently learned Black Flame is a lot better than I thought, and it's mostly because of the new Pyromancer Flame. For those of you guys who don't know, the Pyromancer's Parting Flame, while dealing less damage overall with Pyromancies, has a very tiny bonus hitbox with a combustion whenever you cast this spell. What this means is if someone's right on top of you, you'll do a bonus maybe 150 fire damage like you're doing the weapon art of the regular Pyromancy Glove, the little combustion. So basically you get a bonus to your damage on all the melee Pyromancy spells, which are, you know, Great Combustion, Combustion, uh, Black Flame. So your Black Flame goes from 400 damage to 550 damage, which in the arena, which is unembered, is very, very significant. So Black Flame shot up there to like one of the most effective damage dealers you can do. Additionally, with the changes to poise, Black Flame will break almost any poise. There's almost nothing it can't break short of, like, two-handing a great hammer. So, it also breaks through shields really well, so Valor Heart and things like that get guard broken immediately. It's like the perfect storm that made Black Flame with this patch really, really good. And Black Flame is going to be the majority of your damage by far. But let's look at how to actually use all these spells together and get people to actually get into your Black Flames. So Black Flame has like a really tiny hitbox, but the thing is it does linger for a little while. So people can run into it even after you've already cast it and it'll still hit them. This is what you have to take advantage of. There are two ways to damage people reliably with Black Flame. One is to predict like a running attack, cast it, and trade, and you'll end up winning the trade because there are very few things that'll beat you in that type of trade. And this is why you also want to wear kind of heavy armor as well so you can tank these trades. Um, additionally, because Black Flame is so quickly, you can pressure them or get them to roll into you with Fire Surge or Black Serpent. Both of these spells will make opponents roll or, you know, move in a, in a manner that you can predict what they're going to do. Fire Surge can either bait people into running away or bait them into being aggressive. Now, when you Fire Surge over and over again, people are going to get pissed off at you and roll into you and try to hit you. This is when you immediately switch to Black Flame and just start spamming it. Because Black Flame costs very little FP and very little stamina to cost. You can cast it about five or six times in a row before you run out of stamina. So when they roll into you, just keep pressing it. That's all you gotta do. Black Flame is really, really fast, and if people don't roll after the first one, they'll take 1100 damage immediately. So, the whole strategy with this build is getting people to run into your Black Flame. And this is kinda hard to do, but once you 
uh, learn how to use uh, Fire Surge and Black Serpent in a way that's very annoying to them. It's like a mental mind game that they just see red and have to come and actually try to hit you. And then you end up out trading them because Black Flame will interrupt almost all hyper armor. So even if they have like a great sword, they'll still get interrupted. You do 550 damage with a parting flame, they hit you for 300. You win the trade, you both roll away, now you're on top. You repeat this cycle until they're dead. Now against ultra great weapons that cannot be poise broken by Black Flame, unfortunately all you do is just use Fire Surge. Um, there's nothing they can do about it. The ideal situation is they will switch to a quicker weapon and then you can start playing the build normally again. But um, it's very frustrating for the other player, and I'm sorry if you've been in this situation before, but um, there's a reason I say Ultra Great Weapons are not that good, and this is the reason. Uh, things that are too fast for it, you just can't beat them. It's impossible. So if you really want to win against someone with an Ultra Great Weapon and you don't mind getting them getting angry at you, um, just spam Fire Search. It's unbeatable. Um, but hopefully they'll switch weapons and you can have like a normal fun duel again. But uh, if you're there to win, that's all you got to do. But uh, this build also has other uh, utility as well. It has a uh, medium heal on it. And again, you don't want to use great heal because great heal costs way too much FP, way too much stamina. And in unembered duels, it heals too much. Like, you're never even going to get the full benefit of it. I feel like medium heal is the perfect one to use. Um, and to actually get a heal off, a healing miracle off in a duel is very hard. Because, you know, people are going to be on your nuts. And that's just really hard to actually do that. So that's where Black Serpent and Toxic Mist comes in. Um, both of these spells generally have the mental effect of making the opponent roll backwards and get away from you. Um, as soon as you do a Black Serpent, they're probably going to roll backwards. And usually this is all the time you need to actually get one heal off. Now, once you do that, it's not going to work for the rest of the duel. Because you're going to go, oh, this guy has a heal. I can't just, like keep giving him, you know, a hundred feet of space. So they're going to start pressuring you a lot more. But this is good because now you can black flame them more because they're more aggressive on you. All of these combos are basically about baiting your opponent into playing into a certain aggressive playstyle that you need. That's the entire point of the build. Fire Surge is to piss them off so they roll into a black flame. Black Serpent is to get them to roll away so you can heal, which pisses them off so they get aggressive and roll into more black flames. It's all about controlling how your opponent reacts to you. And all this is really important. Also, aside, uh... A side note about heals, if you have a moral problem with that in the arena, you're basically just saying, like, you're not allowed to use miracles in, in duels, which is just silly because miracles are the weakest spellcasting class in the game. And if you are if you think, you know, the weakest spellcasting class in the game is overpowered, um, perhaps look inwards to yourself, my friend. Maybe you're just not punishing the heals well enough, you're giving them too much space. If you're the guy against the spellcaster that's running 300 feet across the arena in circles, and then you get upset that they healed, that's on you, man. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to sound mean about that, but that's totally on you. Uh, heals are very easy to punish in this game, and um, maybe just try practicing more at actually pressuring people rather than, you know, running away when they cast the spells intended for you to run away. Um, that being said, uh, there also is a little smokescreen effect you can do with Toxic Mist. Um, and you can throw out a Black Serpent, or if someone thinks you're going to heal, this is a double-edged sword, and it works even against good players, because good players will think that you are going to heal as soon as, as soon as the actual Toxic Mist pops up. So once the Mist pops up, you actually run into it, and instead of healing, you use a Black Serpent, or you, you do a Black Flame. Chances are they'll probably run into it, thinking that you're doing a heal. So you can use their regression against them in so many ways, and that's what's so fun about this build. It's such like a mental battle to see exactly what they're going to do. Even though it only comes down to using two or three spells, when to use those spells is such like a fun mini game that I just have so much fun with this build, and I would imagine you guys will as well. Not to mention it is startlingly effective. Um, here is a link to... Uh, a couple of Twitch streams I did where I was uh, doing this build for hours on end. And, like, in six hours, I lost, like, I think once or twice. And I'm not even good with Pyromancy. So, like I said, in the hands of someone that really knows how to use Pyromancy well, holy shit, this is, like, so effective. It was the perfect storm of buffs with the Pyromancer's Parting Flame giving it more damage, poise being more important, and it breaking most poise. It's just such a good build killer. Um, so... It has very little counters right now, and that is the entire point of making this video. As soon as I make this video, people are going to probably copy it, and then people are going to start learning how to counter it, and then within a week, it won't be nearly as effective. So that is what I want to see, because I don't know what the counter is, um, and I want to see what the counter is, and I guarantee the community will come up with one very fast. So um, I can't wait to see that. I imagine it's probably going to involve Gargoyle Flame Spears and Washington Pole running attacks to pressure the... Uh, 
the fire surge while also staying out of range of black flame but we'll see i'm really interested to see what the uh, community comes up with in terms of combating this but there is uh the most consistent and effective pyromancy build i think um works really well hope you guys enjoy it thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and i will be glad to answer um for some reason i respond to like most comments even ones that call me a cockbag i don't know why i'm an idiot but um thanks for watching guys take it easy and i will see you next time